there. I apologize for being a little late. Right, let's get right into the game, huh? And as usual, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, dude. Let's play Tales of Azaria. Yeah, we're just going to jump right into the game. We don't need an intro. Huh. I only need to welcome you to the stream and then begin. Yeah. That's how we do things around here, man. Yes. Hey, look, it's Famco. You know them. They made a Tales of series. They um, made that one Dragon Ball game. Yeah, Kakarot. Actually, I think they make all the Dragon Ball games. I heard they published them. I'm not sure. I'm told they published a lot of anime games, too. A lot of them are arena fighters. Oops. I'm sorry about that. Pressed the wrong button. Sorry. Or, I mean, uh, obviously the game gave me the wrong input. Yeah. Uh, it's not my fault. I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> act, 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 snort. <laughs> <laughs> act, 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 act. <laughs> oh, my expedition is back. What I win? Take a look at this. Hey, I got some garlic. Awesome. Yo, get me some more stuff from there. Where is this expedition even going? I don't know. I have no idea what any of these things are referencing. I know XPRC is referencing Tales of Tales of Symphonia. Probably the other Tales of games that I haven't played. And it's probably other Tales of games I haven't played. Yeah, so the other Tales of games are canon in this universe. Apparently. I mean, I guess. All right, let's leave. We don't need to be here anymore. Ooh, monsters. I keep expecting there to be a first strike in this game, but no. All right, let's just beat him up. Wreck him, wreck him, wreck him. Just how does this sword work? Don't touch it. You'll hurt yourself. Yeah, it's a switchblade. It's very edgy. Hey, don't don't touch the rest of her now. Oh, we don't have regular in our party now. Probably busy making a sword. We need to turn down the volume a little. I suppose it's a little high. Not like there's much music aside from the battle theme. Not much music besides the battle theme. That's very high, man. Alright, you know what the deal is? You gotta stun enemies? You gotta stun enemies in order to get souls. So they can do more attacks. As each attack will cost a little bit of soul gauge. So you don't want to use it all up. Ooh, I'm close to leveling up again. Alright, if I can find one more enemy, I could level up. I'm sure we'll find another one somewhere. In fact, it could be closer than we think. Maybe. Or maybe not. Alright, let's just run. Let's just leave. da dee da dee da It's just the treasure chest. Our treasure. Ooh, Tales of Coins. I don't know what the Tales of Coins are for. Yeah, I played this game and I don't remember what they're for. I haven't a clue. Probably something I haven't un... I don't remember. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. Back when I first played this, I was not streaming at all. In fact, I didn't really have much 
I was just playing it on my own. I'm happy to play it for you. As you see, if you don't have full souls charge, Poppy set, do it! Oh yeah, that's good. Good job, Lappy Set. If these zombies inflict slow on you. I mean, how do zombies inflict slow on you? It's so they can catch you, man. Alright, level up. Cool. That horse. Alright, it says to go over here since there's a star over here. How are we gonna get to the rematch, baby? Wait, a pray, pray a tours. Eleanor, you should be ashamed of yourself, cowering to demons. Your collusion could spell disaster to the Abbey if left unchecked. The only possible atonement is your death. But right, they're really gonna kill her. <laughs> Frick these guys, man. No, we go. We gotta protect Eleanor, man. I don't know where Unlike Velvet is here. Oh, of course Velvet is a um, very edgy, edgy demon girl. The Edge. Yeah, she's powered by pure edginess, man. Yeah, she's even got the vengeance going for her like Shadow the Edgehog does for Maria. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, it's her dead brother after she, after... After she got betrayed by her mentor, who's the main big bad evil guy of the game, who's, who's, these are the henchmen of the big bad evil guy, yeah. You've betrayed the people and sullied Artorius's ideals. No, that's not. <laughs> Velvet, she's testing me. I know I have to fight. My mission calls for it. But any more of this will kill them. Time for you to die and be purged! Eleanor! I can't do it. I can't kill them. I'm not done yet. Luckily, luckily, Record does not care. Now we're even, Eleanor. Yes, and he has blades of pure edginess. Sinister. I like it. Yeah, they're made of pure edginess. Take it, you're ready. All that's left is to kill Sigurd. All right, okay. With me as a witness. I, I keep on fighting like that, and you'll be killed. And if you get killed, Lafi said will lose his vessel. I know that. Velvet, wait. Let me eat them. I'm hungry. Them? I'm just not that hungry right now. Yeah, I'm not hungry. That's the only reason. I've got new orders for you. Fight the exorcists, but make sure they don't die. Understood. Alright, I guess we're not killing people anymore. Even though we did plenty of bad things at the beginning of the game. You know, after Velvet broke out of prison. I guess that was as far as Eleanor could go. I think so. Push her any further, and she's bound to break. <laughs> Ever the virtuous exorcist. That very virtue is what lets her be Lafayette's vessel. Besides, I can't help but admire her commitment. She's enduring total disgrace to accomplish her mission. How uncommonly pleasant of you. Pleasant folks don't use people the way we do. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, don't be an edgy bad guy. Alright, there's more monsters on the map. Yo, is it okay if we kill the zombie? Yeah, Regaru's just got blades of pure edginess that he got from um, cutting from cutting that blacksmith dude's head off. Yeah, he wanted to get his head, uh, head cut off. You think I'm the one that's going crazy? 
What are you talking about? This is weird. I don't like it. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, this is a very serious, very edgy dark game. That's very edgy. It's super duper serious. What it needs, mo what it needs more of is like swearing and guns, man. That way, it can be the purest, most edgiest thing ever, man. I feel like I have to buy Shadow the Hedgehog just so I can do memes. Even though Shadow the Hedgehog is a terrible game, man. I mean, I'll do it if people really want it. But I don't think I'll be having lots of fun with it since I'm not really a Sonic fan and Shadow the Hedgehog is not a good game. I mean, Shadow the character is pretty cool. Yeah, he's a lot like Velvet here. Velvet has red and black, Shadow has red and black. They're both motivated by edgy vengeance. It won't change anything. Yeah. Oh, I'm cutting myself so hey, funny at it. I was wondering if I could talk to you about something that's on my mind. Sure, we can watch the skit. I figured it was just about the time that you and I had the talk, actually. Wait, what? I've seen it all, heard it all, and even tasted it all in my time as a Moloch. Ask me anything you want. Thanks. I was hoping... Don't, don't do it, Lapiset. ...books you were reading earlier, if that's okay. You mean how to talk a human female into becoming your vessel and how to get the cutie? Don't do it. Hey, keep it down. Keep it down. But you and Madame Eleanor have already formed a pact. Why do you still need either of those books? Uh -oh. Well, it's like when we're alone together, things get so awkward. It's hard to talk with her, you know? <laughs> that happens a lot with Malakim and Vessels who are still new to the whole thing. I've been there. In that case, I've got an even better book for Uh-oh, no. Whoa, you read a lot of books. I'm just an avid learner is all. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. No, I don't like it. Hot spring topics, bearing your body and your soul. Being upfront and honest is always the best policy. Okay, then. I... I don't think we'll be bathing in any hot springs together. Do you have anything else? All right, then how about after bath party games, dropping your defenses and your towels? No, I don't think any of this is helpful. Keep trying to get us naked. I think that would just make things even more awkward. I agree. Picky, picky. Tell you what, you can just look at my collection and pick whatever sounds good. Love hacking. Living long and loving hard. Diary of a diary thief. Hands speak louder than words. All classics. I remember reading them when Miss Mogilu and I were struggling to get along. Oh, to be young again. You ever think maybe things would have been easier if you never read these books? Oh. Reading the mood. Knowing what to say and how to say it. That one's a winner. A must read for sure. Are you two reading something? Uh oh, today? don't do it. We are. We are. Loppy set has been worried about that awkward distance between you two, and he came to me for some advice. I've heard his side of the story, so let's you and I grab some tea and talk about what to do about it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. No. Oh, okay. Knowing what to say and how to say it. I don't think this will help either. Don't do it. Don't become corrupted now. Now, don't become corrupted like you will in Tales of Hysteria when you become a dragon of ultimate evil and get controlled by an evil shepherd. Yeah, that's a thing that happens to Lapiset. You'll see more about that when we get to the end of the game. But yeah, this game is connected to Tales of Hysteria. That's the only bad thing about it. Maybe I haven't given Tales of Asteria a fair chance. I mean, it can't be that bad. Does it's over, it can't be as right? bad as I remember it, can it? I mean, the grinding for equipment is pretty annoying. I don't think it's that bad, is it? At least I don't think it is. Am I misremembering how bad it was? And where am I even going right now? I 
I don't even remember. Where am I even going on the map? Where one of these ways has got to lead to the exit? Sorry, I'm a little lost right now. This way's no good. Sure, one of the used ways got to lead to the exit somewhere. Just find it. Right, um, anyway, maybe I haven't really given Tales of the a good fair chance. I mean, granted, finding for equipment is pretty annoying, but surely it can't be as bad as I think it is, is it? I mean, I still have Tales of this area. I mean, I guess I could play it and try to beat it. Again. Because I kind of quit it the last time I played it. You know, maybe it will be really good. Maybe it's much better than I'm giving it credit for. Possibly. I mean, it's hardly the worst game ever I've... It's hardly the worst game I've ever played. It can't, it can't be as bad as False Bound Kingdom. Yeah, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh game, and it's... It's a strategy game, and I get that that's what they're going for, but... Eh, it just wasn't for me, man. I wouldn't say it's a terrible hey, game. Why did he call your storm howl a reject? Gonna beat it. Well, you see, when blacksmiths make swords, they don't just make one at a time. They make a whole bunch. The best one of them all is the one that gets presented to the swords commissioner, while the rest are tossed aside. Huh. I didn't realize the standards were so high. Yeah, they are. The head of my clan gets the real storm howl, and his siblings get the remainders. So one is real, and the others are imitations? I guess so. Shigure has the real one, and... Yeah, guess that makes mine an imitation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply... Don't apologize. You got me to finally realize something. It might just be why I'm so hung up on beating him. Oh. Where he's better? And to Velvet? Which Luffy said is real, and which is the imitation? Oh. Wait, what? What are you saying? She means my name. It's the same as Velvet's brothers. Huh? The one who went and got sacrificed by Artorias. Surely you are mistaken. Our shepherd would never do such a thing. He did. But what else could make Velvet hate Artorias so much? I... I don't... So you have a truth, and Velvet has a truth. Now which is the real one, and which is the imitation? Stop, stop uh, saying that now. We know what the truth is, we saw it happen. I mean, we experienced the story and saw it happen, so we know what is true, man. They're probably gonna fake out, uh, they're gonna- Also, they're gonna fake out later in the story that Velvet's Village is actually not destroyed, and everybody's fine, but it's all fake. Just to mess with her a little. Because Illuminati's a little freaking. Because Illuminati's a lot like Mythos, the Mythos was edgy, was even edgier and darker, and wasn't fighting for civil rights, but was wanting to mind control everybody to get rid of all their emotions and make them Minecraft themselves. But you think I'm joking about the Minecrafting themselves? Nah. Nah, that's really what happens in the plot of this game, man. In other words, Artorias is bad guy and so is Illuminati. Yeah, the slow zone. But I was out of the slow zone that I got hit anyway. Game is bugged. Take a drink. I'm just kidding, of course. Boom! Back him down. Alright, there's a golem on the field. I'm slow. Alright, stun. Come on, we can stun this guy. Come on, stop. Alright, alright, we got him, it's super effective. 
As you can see, whenever you do a dangerous encounter, you get a lot of XP out of it. So you definitely want to chain enemy encounters. The problem is, it's a lot harder than normal encounters in the game. Oh well, at least we confirmed we're on the right path. Knock him out. But a golden stun. Hey, leave Bagaloo alone. I need her to do Bagaloo things. This fight is over. Alright, we're picking up more gear. That's good. Alright, might as well take out some monsters on the way. I know we have a rematch to get to. But listen, we can do it later. Volume too high? I'm sorry about that. I turned it up because of the scene. I really need to change I really need to change the sound mixing on this game. Take him out. Take him out, Eleanor. Stop fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. Alright then. Hold on, let me check the where's the options. Here we go. Alright, where's Stereo Surround? I'll turn down sound effects. Maybe that'll help. Oh, another centipede. Okay, I don't like centipedes, no. Centipedes are very vicious creatures, man. I mean, have you ever have you ever seen somebody who got bit by a giant centipede? It's not a fun experience, guys. And we like Laffy said special. He has another one. He has another one that's a classic Tales of Attack. Yeah, he also has indignation too. Yeah. Indignation is a normal spell in some Tales of games, but not this one. In this one, it's a big special attack that Luffy said has. Maybe he'll maybe once we level up a little bit more, he'll he'll be able to learn more, he'll be able to learn that, and that'll be really awesome, wouldn't it? I think that would be really cool. I mean, it's indignation. How could it not be? Are we getting close to the end of the dungeon? I don't know. Seems like the dungeons in this game are quite long. They're just little individual zones that are broken up in little pieces. Are you fight monsters? You run into a boss? Advance the story? That's pretty good storytelling, I think. really why there's not really much of an overworld. My expedition's back. Did I win anything? Take a look at this. Oh, pirate flag. Cool. And I got fake food. Awesome. I always wanted some fake food. Scout ship. All right, let's see if I get anything from that. Or centipedes. We can do this. No. No, centipedes are the... Centipedes are just the worst, though. No. I mean, remember when Coyote Peterson got bit by a freaking centipede, man? Come on, put up some oh, I'm sorry, technically stabbed by it because apparent because it's the toxic code nabs that get ya. Yeah, he got freaking jabbed by a centipede and it kind of messed him up pretty badly, man. Even more than getting stung a bunch by animals by other. By the executioner wasp and stuff, man. It was a bad, bad time, man. Still, I like the guy. He's pretty cool. Alright, why am I not going this way? Oh, that's right. There's a big door in the way. 
Right there's a door in the way, but I can't get through. And we have to find a way, we have to find a way in. Gotta be around here somewhere. Okay. Gotta be a hole in the wall somewhere. Oh, right here. I must have missed that earlier. I apologize. Ooh, treasure. I'll take that. Outside fragments. Those are pretty good. This will let us upgrade our gear, at least. So we can make it stronger. There's what we need. Now we got that fire mana started. We can go, we can go do it. I mean, there's not quite as many puzzles in this game as other Tales of games. Which I'm fine with because I'm pretty terrible at solving puzzles in video games, especially Tales of games. I got really, really salty at some of the puzzles in Tales of Symphonia, man. Even though I played and beat Tales of Symphonia before. You and Shigure both use the Rangetsu style. But to me it looked like you both fight completely differently. Why is that? Our school encompasses two distinct forms. To the outside world, we're known for fighting with a single great sword. But we also study dual short swords should need arise. So, Shigure uses the great sword, and you use the short. In most schools, wouldn't the secondary technique be used primarily in support of the first? That's true for us as well. We learned the dual short swords to provide sparring partners for those studying the great sword. Then why would you handicap yourself against Lord Shigure? He's no mere swordsman. As I'm painfully aware, Shigure is a true master. We trained together since we were small children. I was his sparring partner for ten years. <sighs> his skill with the great sword is godlike. So, in order to beat him, I took up the short blades. To our school, it might be secondary, but it's what I know best. You're badly disadvantaged in reach. If I eliminate my fear, I have a chance. If I can control the terror of being split in half and I can step inside his guard, He'll have two times the trouble. Eliminating fear, huh? A style for someone who's lost his humanity. Right? It's like you two brothers are the very swords you carry. Huh? Stormhowl, a godlike sword known to all as the strongest there ever was. Stormquell, burdened by the ceaseless struggle to best the other. One, an exorcist who walks in the light. One, a demon moving through the shadows. The only thing these two polar opposites want is to cut down the other. Precisely! Both are renowned blades, but I don't see what exorcists and demons have to do with it. Okay, that's very edgy. Yeah, I want to fight my brother and beat him in a sword fight. So I can kill him. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're good, we're good guys, guys. I mean, we only want to commit murder against... We only, we only burnt, we heroically burned down that fort when we, um, escaped prison, yeah. Yeah, we heroically terrorized the... I was up with the screen there for a moment. I'm slow. Frickin' zombies. I know you're slow zombies and you need to slow me, you need to do something to make yourselves interesting. See, the screen's all jacked up again. That's very weird. I don't like that. Get him, Eleanor. I'll just, un I'll just, un I'll just figure nice then. As you can see, it does drain your HP, though. It does let you do a big special attack. That's why I wanted to have... There's a lot of things happening on screen right now. Come on, we can beat this golem. Armor theorized, damage bonus, enemies. Pretty good. Wow, all sorts of things popped out. Yep, it's a whimsical wonderland over here. Now. Another dangerous encounter, cool. 
Maybe we can level up off this one, huh? Uh oh, I'm slow. Yep, there's zombies on the field. But I paralyzed this guy. Damn, it's turning all flaming again. Not really sure what's going on there. Oh no, Magaloo got stunned, that's bad. She'll be fine, she's got five souls anyway. Uh oh, I got stunned. That means I lose a soul. I need to lurk on my defense, man. Alright, I'll just knock all these guys out. Devour them. Uh, I'm losing HP, man. Hey, is everyone all right? Cool, we leveled up again. Amber stuff. Wait, learn break souls. Okay. We're learning new stuff, by the way. Just thought I'd make that clear. Damn, this dungeon's still going. Actually, we're about at the end. There is a way to fly later in this game. Well, sort of, and it will get you over short gaps. Damn, there is a lot of particle effects on the screen. I'll just recharge my souls. Get him! Spiral hail! Hey, is everyone all right? Yeah, we're fine. We're doing good. Damn, he must have been really de- Gregor is really devoted to fighting a fighting his brother with his sword. Yeah, they have some bad blood between them, needless to say. Alright, we finally made it to the port. Awesome. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Cat spirits? Yes. Oh, give me that earring, yes. Hey, look, treasure! I got, I got treasure, guys. More bottle, holy bottle. Your slit, do I really want that? Nature from defeating foes. I like the HP recovery on it. All right, I guess we'll take one of those. I guess we'll take it. I'll take spear. I don't know how your focus. All right, got a calcite blade. We'll run a pendant. I might as well get that for Megaloo. That one for Velvet. Oh, that attack reduction bothers me. Oh, we got... Oh, we got a discount. Okay. Alright, let's equip some stuff. Yeah, these Floronic Armors are better. Similar defense. I like getting no more defense. But I like the other things too. Kind of as difficult to about managing what sort of items you got. I'll go with a little less HP, but I'll be a little bit better. I don't want him to lose the art attack. Alright, let's see. We'll make him lose some art attack. But it will do wonders for his defense. These have high. This one might be the best one. Upgrade 
paper. I took those edgy swords of edginess. Might as well upgrade your equipment. One more attack, please. I'm doing this one to get maximum souls. Let's see which one should I go with? Creature. Get a higher level for that. No, we need to swap him out more. Or sir, would be good. No, no. Now she has a lot of water attacks. That's pretty good for her. I'm going to increase your... Okay, that has decreased. Apply his martial art damage. And I'll take that for right now. These are a lot better for you. I have the Thoronic. Oh, I like the focus and magic on that. I'll go with that. That is a lot less magic. I'll go with the mana earring for right now. Don't have enough fragments for that. All right, I'll just I'll just equip those for now. I can upgrade later. All right, I have to dismantle things, don't I? Fortunately, dismantling things also costs money. things this costs a lot of money. Really need those fragments. Maybe a soup soap. Stunto. Ooh, this one's pretty good. That's what we're talking about. Alright, I might as well enhance the chocolate idol, I guess. Need gold scrap for that. Ooh. For... Oh, you only need bronze crab for that, okay. Sorry, I'm menuing right now. I realize menus are not really that exciting. 
and I apologize for that profusely. That just comes with the territory. Alright, rematch time against the strong Abby's strongest swordsman time. Just like the title said. There they are. Which must mean they took out every one of the exorcists who went after them. Hey, I told them not to bother. Now how did that sword of yours turn out? <laughs> Think you knew? How did you know? Fine. I'll find out for myself. Alright, I guess we're fighting these guys again. Rokuro, we can handle the exorcists. Go and find your victory. Thanks. Okay, we'll try. All right, let's get down to business. All Ragaroo has to do is get good. You better not die too nope, nope, nope. I don't like this. Nope. I want this to be fun. Come on, bro. All right, now Lappy said, do it. Hit him hard. And I'll just take out these exorcists. They're a bunch of no-name mooks. Wait, did they already up? Is the other mook already dead? We're feeding him up. Uh oh. All right, we're feeding him up. That's good. All right, we're getting a little greedy on those souls. Not bad at all, but I'm not done yet. Uh oh, he's unleashing a big attack. You put up a good fight. I'll give you that. But you're a freaking demon. Shouldn't you bring more to the table than pretty damn good Rangetsu style? You don't have what it takes to win against the rightful heir. Don't count me out. Just yet. I've got something to show you! Get him, get him, get him, get him! Wait, he's putting his hand through... Damn, he put his hand through the sword, man. I don't like that. Is your hand all jacked up, dude? <laughs> now that was clever. Giving up one of your own hands to go for my neck. If I was just a second slower, I'd be dead now. I like it. This is what I've been looking for. All right. Let's call it good here. Listen up. If you all want any hope of beating me, come find me once you're more skilled and better off. Okay, we'll level up, I guess. I'll cut you down. No matter how many times I lose. No matter how many years it takes. I am determined. There we go. That's the face I'm looking for. So vicious. It's perfect. <laughs> What is wrong with him? Shouldn't you be worrying more about your own skin? The entire Abbey knows by now that you're a traitor. Uh, yeah, Melchior is just betraying her too. That guy, he was really strong. Yeah, he used an extra yeah, art. He was. They all are. But we will beat him if we must. No matter what it takes. Yes. <sighs> We're gonna have to level up all the way to 99 to do it. Actually, I'm pretty sure the level cap is higher than that. I mean, this is a Tales of game. Please, take me with you. Okay. I'll make a sword that surpasses Storm Howl yet. I know I will. But for another blade to beat Storm Howl, its wielder must be a swordsman of unmatched skill. You need to get good. Hey, Eisen. Got any room on this pile of wood scrap for a suit of armor? If not, make someone wear it. <laughs> Works for me. You heard him, Kudogane. Yes. Many thanks. 
Okay, we're off to find Grimoire and decipher the book. You know where we're going, right, kiddo? Yeah, we're headed for the Isalt Archipelago in South Gan. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's leave. Oh wow, we leveled up off that. Wow, well, about that. Awesome. Oh wow, we leveled up. That's cool. Alright, let's go set out on the open ocean so we can set sail. We can go between continents whenever we want. Oh, there's no actual world map. No. That's fine. That's actually perfect. I like that. Remember when Secret in 4 had like that ocean map that was really, really bad? You guys look less like pirates. Good thing we don't have that here. <laughs> Are you alright with having demons on board, Benwick? Not remotely an issue. If you're aboard this ship of misfits, you're a pirate. That's just our creed. Yes, and pirates are bad guys. At least, that's what the captain and the first mate always say. Speaking of the captain, what's Eifried like? Yes, Eifried is in this game too. Let's see. How do I put it? He's like if the sea were a person, and that person had a pointy beard. Huh. Uh, a bearded sea? Look. Everybody on this ship is an outcast from society in some way. Despite that, Captain Eifried accepted us for who we are and took us all on board. Cool. So he's a kind man. Hey, Abby, you could learn something about that. Would you say that the sea is kind? How would it feel to dive in with an open wound? It would sting a lot. Quite so. Some days he's calm and steady. And others, he rages. He can be shallow, deep, even a whirlpool. Sounds like he's a little scary and hard to read. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to serve him. But that air of mystery keeps us around and makes us want to take those jumps. Life lessons, guys. At the end of the day, the dread pirate Van Eifried is one hell of a guy. He sounds like Velvet in a lot of ways. Oh. Wait, what? How so? Uh, I didn't describe him right at all, did I? Hmm. What? What? Not I'm angst ridden and edgy? Once for Port Renied. Sir? What's going on? Three of our men have collapsed from the Corsair Scourge. A what? They first showed symptoms three days ago. How are you holding up? I'm still doing all right. But if this really started three days ago... That means we're all carrying it, doesn't it? Uh-oh. That's what I'm afraid of. But if we head straight to Port Renied, we should be able to get medicine there. I'll check on everyone's condition. Make sure everyone stays hydrated, including yourself, understand? Sir, yes sir. All hands, assume emergency position. The Reaper's curse is activating, I guess. The crew's holding up well for a bunch of folks at death's door. What do you mean? Is this Corsair scourge fatal? Quite. No one knows what causes it, but it starts with a high fever and ends up with the body falling apart like sand. Like sand? Once, there was a great band of pirates who ruled the seas, but the disease spread through their ships and killed every one of them. That's why it's called the Corsair Scourge. Does that mean we've been infected as well? Uh-oh, we're gonna die. Only humans, for sure. Only humans fall prey to the Corsair Scourge. Then it could have gotten to you too. Right, Moggy Lou? Oh, right. Alas, that my glorious saga should meet such an ignominious end! I can't allow our vessel to die from this. If you start to feel ill, speak up. I will. All right, we'll all be helping out in the search. Everyone but Eleanor, that is. Huh? Oh, why does she get to stay? I might be dying too, you know! You're a witch. Magic yourself healthy. Now quit whining and get going. Yes, I'm edgy. Just say from the ravages of the Reaper's Curse. The Reaper's Curse? Yeah, you didn't know that about Aizen? He has the Reaper's Curse. It's a very edgy curse that only the edgiest of Malakim get. <laughs> hey, look, this port looks a lot like the other ones that we've just been to. That's kind of weird. 
At least it's not all the same like in Tales of Zilla. Okay, where's the herbalist? If I remember right, the Corsair's Scourge needs a particularly special medicine. Alright, where do we get it? Yeah, it's a wildflower called Salatoma. Its juice can cure the Corsair's Scourge. Well, doesn't sound too tricky. Let's not relax until we have it in hand. Right. Now let's get going. Hold on a minute. Won't you just be spreading the disease if everyone wanders into town? Surprisingly, no. For whatever reason, you can only catch it over the ocean waves. It's speculated it might have something to do with the salt in the air. Or maybe the microbes in the seawater. Nobody knows the cause for sure. But there are no recorded cases of people catching it on land. I see. A strange affliction indeed. It's all the most convenient for the we'll plot. Back soon. You all remain on the ship. All right. Good luck out there, sir. We've got to hurry. Okay, I understand. Solitoma. Is this really going to be necessary? What do you mean, Eleanor? Tell me about it. Oh, nothing. It's just, well, the herb is known to work well for fevers and the like, but it tastes bad. So bad. Some say it would even bring a demon to the brink of tears. Maybe so. But better to drink it than to die, right? I agree. Oh, I'm not worried. It it just reminded me of stories from my childhood is all. Okay, then. Oh, my expedition is back. Alright, what'd we win this time? Take a look at this. Hey, we got a pirate. Uh, we've been to the Isle of Siren? Oh, this game is crossing over with you State. That's cool. I like that. Awesome. Yo, ho, ho. <laughs> That's a cool crossover. I like that. Scout ship. I am obviously joking, of course. You know. I thought for some reason it would be funny. Ah. Run, scraps. Give me them scraps, man. A bit ago, a manacled. Manacled? You too? Yesterday, my nets pulled up an arm. Manacles. I really can't take this anymore. You said it. Judging by the tides, they would have... You think it's strange, too? They say the whole island is a prison. But if you ask me, I... Or it's for ex experimenting. Testing the demon's capabilities. That's why they need prisoners. Food for the monsters. Not a bad theory. <laughs> <laughs> you sure think of some crazy ideas? Yeah, something like that. guy. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any patrol ships around there recently. You know, you're right. If there are pirates about, don't mean trouble. The best we can do is keep. I think we'd know. I can't tell. Right, let's just ignore that. Alright, we gotta go into town. All right, let's keep going. Why well, remember this place? That's an interesting bridge. This bridge has a bit of history to it. Port Renied was originally built here on this inlet. The water's deep enough for ships, but as you can see, it's a bit too narrow for a port. Large ships couldn't come close without a top-rate crew, so Port Renied was used almost exclusively by smaller ships. What about the Von Eltia? We're the best of the best. We came and went as we pleased. So your point is you wanted to brag? Hey, let me finish. The people wanted their town to grow. So they built an outer harbor for large ships and this bridge to connect to it. Uh-huh. So that's why the port and the town are separate. But there's more. We secretly helped provide the funds and resources for them to build it. So you are bragging. And did this bridge bring prosperity to Port Renied? No. The Abbey began regulating shipping and travel, right about the time the town finished building the outer port. If only the seas had remained free, Port Renied would have developed into a center for commerce and trade. I suppose things don't always go as planned. Then again, even if Port Renied became a bustling port, we still would have no trouble slipping in or out. I'm not biting this time. Oh well. Yeah, the Abbey are bad. Abby bad. Oh, I got a carrots. Norman carrots. Yes, that's a Tales of the Syria connection, I guess. Alright, let's go inside town. Oh, 
When I was in Port Zexen, I heard that a swarm of demons attacked the palace and killed the high priest. No way! Isn't the palace the most... Hmm, bad news? They say that the demons were disguised as humans, but were actually enormous... Mo they had razor-sharp horns and... Th if the demons were that terrible, no... Some rumors say they escaped. Some say a legate took them down in a climactic... We should be ready to run in case they show up. Is the world falling apart? A horned giant with three eyes, huh? Velvet, you're one scary lady. They said swarm, so they were talking about you, too. Yes, that's true. Yeah, Abby is definitely spreading bad rumors about us. As part of their method of controlling the population, or I mean, uh, they're, they're honest people, yeah. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's just not possible. But the High Priest hasn't been seen since then! How do you explain that? I heard some people from the capital say that he might have been attacked by demons! The Abbey's trying to cover it up, but the truth is getting out. The security at the palace is better than anywhere else! Demons breaking in? Inconceivable! But what if a whole horde assailed the castle? Uh, inconceivable! The guarding the palace are elite! The best of the best! Horde or not, they couldn't have gotten in! But what if they were some sort of giant demons? No matter how elite the guards may be, they If giant demons appeared in the capital, I understand your concern. Panic and confusion is just what the demons... Well, we know that, but... It looks like rumors from the cap... The more chaos there is here, the easier it'll be for us to move around. Alright, we're gonna cause lots of chaos, I guess. Alright, let's cause lots of chaos, I guess, so we can, um... So we can, um, make ourselves infamous. Yes, we increased our infamy level by three stars, guys. We're trying to aim for that five-star infamy level. Yeah, we're gonna aim for we're gonna aim for high. Yeah, we're gonna get our infamy level up after we um, kill lots of go kill the legates. Yeah, that's a surefire way to increase it, right? Yes, open the cat's chest. Of course, we don't get anything for that one. If we keep opening them up, we'll get some costume pieces, which are pretty nice. In fact, I'm wearing one of them that I got from a chest right now, this Halo, which is pretty nice. I like it a lot. I like Halos. Halos are cool. Only I realize it's out of place on someone like Velvet. But look, this is her best outfit, okay? I like it. I can't leave through there. No, can we talk to you? Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock. Right oh, now. really? How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. And we'll take care of it what? then. Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. Oh. First the Corsair Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's curse, eh? How convenient. I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, it might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. Yes, we're going to the forest and we're going to do... We're going to beat that demon, yeah. I think that demon might be the beetle that we're looking for for the next episode. Well, uh, what is this? Is this an ogre? Oh, it's a troll! We're being trolled! Alright, I guess we got orders in this game that I'm not gonna use. Yeah, we're gonna be trolled! Oh, we're gonna hit him with big chocolate damage. It's over, right? Yeah, the trolls tried to troll us, but we trolled them. No trolls on my stream, man. Get out of here. 
cat. Get trolled. Man, I feel trolled right now. Uh oh, dangerous encounter. Well, that means we'll get lots of XP then. As if we beat up all these monsters, that is. We might get really wrecked by them. But I don't imagine we'll be wrecked really hard. I mean, we're playing on the easiest difficulty, after all. Yeah, it's not because I'm a scrub or anything, it's because I'm a scrub, yeah. Wait. It is because I'm a scrub, yeah. Yeah, I'm not very good at Tales of Games, man. I barely know how to defend in the game. This kind of makes me want to play Tales of Hysteria so I can see the connections to this game and that. I know the ending of this game kind of connects to it a little. Alright, let's beat up this troll. Yeah, we got trolled. Its guardian was... was angry at it. Hold on. You can read a guardian's heart? Um, yeah, sort of. Cool. We did it. Bring it on, witch. I'll show you the beauty of my spear I'm just gonna knock these bitches out. Do the... do the claw thing, yeah. Wreck him, wreck him, wreck him. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do the big move, Velvet. Did you think you could escape me? Yeah, there we go. What the heck is that thing? I'll end this quickly. Uh, we got some slimes on the field. Yeah, those are slimes. Or mud balls. Alright, I need to charge up my souls first. Take them all down. Devour them. Oh, slimes! Yeah, they're mud slime, yeah. Yeah, there's all sorts of cool slimes in video games, guys. I mean... I mean, Slime Rancher did introduce Honey Slimes to us, which is pretty cool. I like that. I don't know, is taking all that damage really necessary? Get him, Laffy Set. Get it crashed. Damn, there's a lot of Slimes on the field. Damn, the bat. Damn, I don't know what's up with that flame effect. It must be a spell or something. I refuse to fall here. We took him down. Oh yeah, paralysis. Watch out for that. Because his attacks will be sporadically. Wait, you can't restore your HP when paralyzed? Poor trolls. I don't like trolls. No, get out of here. Stop trolling me. Stop trolling me, Bree! Of course, that'll be it for right now. But I'll do another. I'll do another episode soon, later in the week. Okay. Tomorrow is gonna be Metroid Fusion, and I'm gonna fail hard at that game. What I'm gonna do in Metroid Fusion is um. Get lost and not know what to do, because a lot of the paths to go are kind of locked behind a lot of nonsense that you just kind of have to know what's there. Or blast at the floors or everything until you find the white right through. That's a little bit annoying. I might as well just look up a walkthrough, okay? Anyway. Thank you guys for watching and we hope you had plenty of fun, guys. Remember to play games and have fun, okay? I love you. Oh, the edge of this game is so good. I love it a lot. That's why this game is so good, man. It's so edgy. That 
Well, Grow, always telling all of us except Eleanor to work harder. Doesn't he realize that I'm a delicate maiden too? This is workplace discrimination. I should put him on a witch trial and burn him at the stake. I don't think that's how witch trials work. <laughs> What's wrong, Eleanor? You look like you've got something on your mind. I'm just trying to figure out what Rokuro was thinking. When I had Lord Shigure at the end of my spear, Rokuro threw his dagger right at my head. I thought I was dead for sure. I feel like I saw who he truly was, and it frightens me. But he and Lord Shigure are always trying to kill each other. I can't understand why he did what he did. It might have something to do with his Bushido code. What's Bushido? Is that like a sword fighter's code? It's a way of thinking. Be loyal to your lord, respect your parents, protect the weak, and act with honor. You're saying that he was following this Bushido code, and he was protecting me because I was weak? He might have turned into a demon, but his memories and personality are still intact. I doubt his moral values have disappeared either. Do you really think he believes in that Bushido stuff? Carving through his enemies with a cruel and unsparing sword! Slash! Pow! Shazam! That's the true nature of a Rangetsu man! I heard that when Velvet first met him, he immediately attacked her without any provocation. I'm sure you haven't already forgotten how he turned his swords on the kid in that fight against Kurogane. I wouldn't read too much into what Magilu's saying. Rokuro lives for his sword, and that's just who he is. But I don't think he's all that bad. I thought you were the one who called him frightening. I know I said he can be a scary person, but... How do I put it? I do feel there's more to him than just wanting to cut people up. It's like... He's more sensitive to other people's emotions than he might seem to be at first glance. A sword fighter has to sense his opponents on some level, right? For a crazed demon, he's actually a nice guy. Is that it? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like I know him well enough to claim any deep personal insight or anything. You brought it up. Oh. Alright, this time we'll say for real. Alright, this time we're doing it for real, guys. We're quitting. I apologize, guys. I uh, accidentally hit the skip button on accident. Yeah. Anyway, goodbye. I would have a title card or something to end the stream off, but I don't have one of those yet. In fact, I should probably look into getting some things like that, man. If I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch. I mean, all the big streamers have those things, right? Not that I'm big anyway. <laughs>